What's going on everyone? Colby here with Colby's Cards and today I'm opening what will probably be my final blaster box of Topps Fire for this year. Um, I started off really strong with two really awesome blaster boxes. Um, I just also really like these cards this year. Uh, this is my first time and first year opening Topps Fire, so just kind of really enjoyed them so far. Uh, but my first two blasters yielded an autograph each, so if you haven't seen that video or those videos yet, Definitely recommend checking those out, um, as well as any of my other videos that you have probably haven't seen yet, uh, if you haven't. But let me know uh, what you think in the comments down below after this video is done. And uh, let's just go ahead and jump right in, start ripping here. Um, so right now we are pretty much looking, so Top Fire actually does have like most, if not all, of the top rookies of the year. Um, I believe O'Neill Cruz is in this set, though I don't think I've pulled him. Um, I also have pulled like Seiya Suzuki, I've pulled um, Bobby Witt Jr., I've pulled Julio, so definitely really cool stuff coming out of these, and also just these cards look, I think, really cool. They kind of have like different feel than the typical Topps cards, a little bit more cartoony, designs kind of popping, and then some of the inserts are really cool as well. Um, this one here is our first insert. We did get a couple other cards there, but uh, this is our first insert. It is a, I don't know if it's called Fire or Flame Parallel. They're not numbered, but they're kind of like a red foil. So still a nice card to get. And then we have Wilson Contreras. Uh, here's a Juan Yepes rookie card for the Cardinals. And a Willie Adamas. This is also not numbered, uh, but this is one of those gold minted cards. Uh, so just really cool looking parallels in this set, I think. Um, and again, you know, if you pull a parallel or an autograph, you know, that's numbered or uh, just an autograph, generally speaking, it's definitely something even better than the normal cards that you'll get. Uh, we do have a rookie here of Gabriel Arias. Um, we have Cattell Marte, and then we have one of these inserts of Byron Buxton. So it's a gold minted insert of this, I guess, on fire. Uh, die cut card. You can kind of see what the shape of it looks like there. We also have Steven Strasberg and Tim Anderson, followed by a rookie of Shane Baz. Um, I do kind of regret not picking up the hobby box for this stuff. So the hobby boxes were running 80 bucks um, from both Target, and it looks like we have an orange uh, in this pack, uh, but the hobby boxes were running I think 80 bucks or 85 bucks or something like that, maybe 90 after tax and shipping, depending where you get it. Uh, I never found them in stores in Target, but uh, did see them online, but I passed on them originally and then they were sold out. So that was definitely my fault. Uh, they were also being sold on Topps website, um, but I missed out. So here we go. Uh, here's a nice Wander Franco rookie card. It does have a little bit of a bummed corner at the top left, not a bummed corner, but not the sharpest corner, and this is probably going to be numbered. It is numbered out of two ninety nine. So this is actually, um, funny enough, my first uh, Wander numbered rookie card. I do have plenty of other Wanders, um, but I have not pulled any Wander rookies that are numbered yet, so that's pretty cool. We do have Brandon Woodruff and Tristan McKenzie, and a Tyler O'Neill is our gold-minted card out of that pack. Um, Wander Franco, obviously, I mean, still much higher than above average player. Um, didn't quite have the year that everyone was really hoping for him to have this year, so a little bit of a disappointing season. He was kind of plagued by injuries and stuff this year, but hopefully next year he can come back uh, with a vengeance and prove everybody wrong. Here's a rookie of MJ Melendez for the Royals, and then an Akil Badu. Uh, so definitely seeing some repeats from uh, the first couple blasters. I can't remember exactly how many cards are in this set, but really, really getting this set for like some of the rookie cards, um, the potential for autographs and stuff like that, and then just some of the parallels. I just, again, really like the way that these cars, cards look. Um, so that's really why I'm getting them. Um, and they're still only $25 a blaster, so really cannot complain. Uh, we do here have a, an Aaron Judge. And this is not numbered either, but it is kind of an insert card with the uh, gold minted finish to it. So it's Tyson Beck is the artist that they worked with, but it's called the um, Fired Up Parallel. Then we have another one of these uh, red foils or fire or flame parallels, whatever you want to call them. Uh, kind of like the red foil there finished though of Tristan McKenzie. Then we have Jacob DeGrom, 
Elliot Ramos for the Giants rookie card, a Max Kepler gold minted. So it does seem like we're getting a gold minted either in each pack or every other pack. Um, whether it's an insert card or whether it's the actual last card in the pack. So super interesting there. Uh, and it does look like we've got another one in the center of this pack. Uh, so we start off with Byron Buxton and Justin Turner. We do have Whit Merrifield leading us to flipping out. I like this card a lot. Uh, flipping out is Bryce Harper. So definitely a new insert, at least that I haven't seen quite yet. Uh, but again, in that gold finish. And then if I can pick these up. We do have an Aaron Ashby rookie card and Spencer Torkelson rookie card. So kind of a disappointing season for Spencer Torkelson as well. Um, just didn't quite live up to the expectation that uh, J-Rod and Bobby Witt did. Bobby Witt actually started off with a little bit of a slower start too, uh, but did pick it up as the season went on. And then here's our last pack. So we do get a Max Scherzer followed by the rookie of Stephen Kwan. I also see a rookie on this insert of... Bobby Wood Jr. This is actually the second one of these rookies that I've pulled uh, on this To The Moon insert. So definitely one of the top rookies that you can get on that as well. Here's Buster Posey, probably one of his last cards. We've got Max Muncie, Ichiro, and our last card is the Jackson Kowar Gold Minted. So this is probably what you're going to expect on a um, out of a blaster box. Again, they're 25 bucks. Uh, you get some really cool looking parallels. Uh, we did get one numbered card as well, and it happened to be a Wander Franco rookie, so that was pretty sweet. Uh, but a lot of these non-numbered, you know, gold minted or uh, red foil cards, some of them are rookies cool too, which is cool. Uh, we did get a good stack of rookies besides that as well. So the base rookies we got, you can see here, uh, this is not a base rookie. This is Wander card out of 299. So probably the hit of the box, at least for me, that and that Bobby Witt Jr. And then uh, some other ones here, Seiya Suzuki and Juan Yepes are not too bad either. Um, so that's about what you could expect out of a blaster box of Topps Fire. Again, $25, Target exclusive, and you can also get them on Topps website. So let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.